Welcome back, everyone, to the messed up world in which we're playing as Chile. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Mr. Chile Lover. Um, but there's, here's what we got. The Brazil's now in the Allies. Um, great. Most of Africa's in the Allies. Most of North America's in the Allies. We're fighting Colombia right now, too. The Axis is looking pretty strong as they've taken out, you know, they're up to this river here. I don't know which one this one is, but... Um, Kiev is fallen. Kiev is fallen. Uh, ah, it's not looking great. What is this? Government of National Security or National Defense? Oh, huh. so ah, and we're still fighting, or these our allies are still fighting here in Portugal. So we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens here in total. But we got bigger things at uh, Friar. Um, in all honesty, the main goal for this campaign at this point is for us to win the war and see what the uh, peace deal is going to be like. So we're just going to work with these guys, like I said, and uh, yeah. Eventually, I would like to annex our allies. Revolutionary fervor. You know what? Go ahead and just do that. That's fine. Uh, promote immigration. Blow the canal. Uh, Venezuela join the Axis, which means we'll fight them too. All right. Japanese shogunate, whatever. Um, oh, and these are our allies up here. Colombian Socialist Republic that we helped spawn, which is fantastic. Oh, well. I guess we can't do that. Last Revolution in Bolivia. Haiti. Costa Rica. Colombia's now at war with us too. That's going to make it a little more difficult for us, though. Which really sucks. Go and help them out. And what do we have done here? Military expert? Yeah. That's fine. They all want to help in the war, but whatever. Domestic production, really, MVs. We are able to produce plenty of small arms and ammo in our own home country, but we lack the expertise to produce proper motorized armored vehicles. To alleviate the issue, we should probably purchase cars from anyone willing to sell them and copy their designs. Of course, we did design mods last time, so we'll do that. Sure. We're definitely trying here. Bulk out that would be nice. Uh, uh -uh. Well, it looks like we might not be able to take it. And there goes the Mexican Soviet Republic. Alright, so you're definitely losing now, so. You all are going to stop attacking. No things happen. So, we're looking pretty long. I like how long we are. Um, we'll make all these people spawn. Uh, or at least give our allies what they really need overall. And the beast still happens. So, it's not looking great. It's not looking bad, but it's not great. You know what we're going to do? We're going to shove you guys into here as well. <clears throat> Where are you guys all going? Oh, there's all the way down there too. It's alright. America will probably will be able to take the German Reich, maybe. Um, looks like... Have they pushed out, maybe? Oh no, they're still losing. So let's just focus with Latvia. Oh boy. Oh, they're still pushing really hard. I didn't expect to make so many cavalry divisions this campaign. More trucks, huh? Well, we're not making it right now, anyways. Send half here, and just become infantry divisions. Probably get some um, infantry as well. Now, if we do this, can we do this? 79. So, only two divisions. Oh, I guess there's four divisions, huh? Now, can we do this? Yes. So we can. We need three to hold once the battle's over. And there you go. Oh, you six, do not train. I want you to help destroy convoys. So go all the way around, see what you can do. Can we grab any more? Yes, a computer expert, yes, good. Minecraft, huh? I really use mines too much. Yeah, this we're here, that's good. Uh, yes, you guys head on up. Very nice, rubber processing. Get some more rubber, maybe as well. Do we need any more rubber? Yes, we do. We're not extracting any, which is not a good idea. Uh, maybe build a synthetic refinery, yes. We're running out of space in Chile here. And we're slowly going to continue lowering uh, the autonomy of. Chilean Argentina, 
Because it goes to annex him eventually. Yeah. Good. Slowly and surely they'll be defeated. Hey, look at that. Sunk five convoys. Well, I guess Americans are doing that. Oh, hey, Brazil. Sure, I'll take your trucks. Infantry equipment? Why not? Because we are currently on limited exports. Anything else here? Bolster forces here. Government's in X, so I don't really care about from an ideology, ideology rallies there. Communist speed, research speed. Eh, it's not really worth it then. Ideological rallies, why not? Oh wow, that little pocket there is not doing well with the British. Once South America is taken care of, I think America should be able to send more stuff to Europe, but we'll see. Getting the AI to do anything is kind of insane, but. Though the military instructors are good, they're not as good as those who have fought in multiple conflicts and been trained in military academies of the highest prestige in other countries. Therefore, we should make an effort to attract foreign military advisors to help train our armies in their country's specialities, or to further strengthen our armed forces, of course. Goes to slowly take tile by tile. Nice. Hey, at least we're doing something here. Oh, at this point, we might as well go with subs. Since, uh. Our guys don't really have very much else, do they? <laughs> they have up to three divisions here, huh? Could you do this? Well, God, that would be nice. Let's see. So if you're already losing your war against the Germans, why would you go to war with the Iran? It literally makes no sense. Come on, take out Bogata. Nice, there you go. Let's see. Good, good, good. Nice. Let's get our guys on the line, they'll start attacking from here. And go to straight to Venezuela. Advisors, lessons from the Great War. More population, better artillery defense, crude population factor, Prussianization of the army. Well, I like that one more, but I like that manpower too. Though the professionalism of our soldiers could perhaps be, may, be questioned, it was without a doubt that what our army currently needs desperately is more soldiers to follow the strengths. As they're suffering from a lack of men willing to join our armed forces. And joining the Prussians in their war? How, what the heck just happened here? Seems like we're. Aligning ourselves with the Germans, we don't want that. Okay, well then. Why would we launch a coup in Haiti? Ow. Why would you go here and not even build a port? Can we actually need them, beat? It's a good question to ask. All right, then. 
experimental weapons special force program? Why not? Our army, though small, could be strengthened massively by utilizing specially trained soldiers. We could still have certain situations and battle types. Thus, establishing programs for training and harboring such soldiers should be considered our number one priority. Marble Fawn. Um, during Commonwealth. Well, let's see what happens. Wait. Wow, UK just wanted all that stuff. Central America, okay. So, Africa's looking better already. Turkey is getting better too. The UK is actually putting effort in finally. Um, the Soviets are incredibly weak though. That's 43, I get it, but still. I can't imagine Germany doing extremely well. They have less than 1,000 manpower, less than 600,000. How many divisions have got? 386. Roughly the same amount. There we go. Well, that was a good attempt. In Uruguay, Cuba. Can we do anything here? Here, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> a bit of rubber. Uh, get some extraction going. Yeah, we'll need some of this. Now they're going to start attacking us, unfortunately, and we're just going to force the defense or whatever. And you can go to war with the Iraq, okay. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, they're trying to take out that area. We might be losing there. Um, but yeah, this is what the world as we currently know right now, which kind of sucks. Lessons from the Great War, Special Forces, Revitalized Marines. It's not bad. Landcraft, Amphibious Tanks, Strengthen the Mountain uh, Regiments. Probably go with this one. The Mountaineers of the Army should receive our upper command's special attention as they perform feats that regular troops could only wish of ever performing. They're able to perform combat in the treacherous Andes and can support our regulars while pushing forward. Proper training programs. Support our Mountaineers, we should employ Rangers. Soldiers are specially trained in attacking and scouting not only in the vicinity of the mountains, but also in the forests and jungles of South America. Alright, so we figured it out at, uh, after a little, not too much of a disaster in Haiti, but uh, we're okay now. And we've invaded Cuba. Um, America, or at least some of the Allies, have decided to do a D-Day, which has put a little bit of pressure off of the Soviets. Turkey's still a mess. Um, nothing's really improved in Spain. So we're not really missing, you've not really missed much of anything, really, at all. Uh, that being said, we're doing advanced telecommunications, which I think I read last time, which I don't remember. But if you want to read this again, please go ahead. War planning office? Um, why not? Uh, we also need to now make sure that our army can receive proper and well thought out plans and orders so they do not fall behind on the information war happen to get outdated details that led to them being ambushed or destroyed. As such, we should find a war planning office to better coordinate these efforts. Also, if we want our army to stand chance against the juggernaut that is the U.S., we need to modernize it rapidly. So we can only invite people um, that uh, we're not at war with who are ideologically the same as us. So invite Russian military advisors. We don't really use mass assault, but you get a recruitable population plus 1%. So that's actually really strong. And they'll do Japan, or French, I guess. More artillery attack and defense for superior firepower, which we actually use, so we're trying to invade. We're doing all right. We've actually landed already, which is fantastic. Ecuador's called in Cuba. You know, what do you expect? You know, uh, I'll go here. Please go here. And then you guys are going to turn immediately this way. There you go. Oh, there you go. And then it'll be ours. That's not actually too bad. And are we there? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So you all are going to do this. We're going to do Uruguay next because they're independent. We don't like them being independent at all. They don't deserve their independence. So there's that. Um, we're just out of resources, really. Trucks. Hey, Cuba's ours. Nice. I guess planes, but we can't support planes. That's kind of unfortunate. So we're going to wait. We're going to get... Give us some more time to get down there. Launch revolution down here. There's both the revolutionary forces in Cayenne. Um, so, there you go. Not bad. 
Hello? What is this? Some 14 just Cuban destroyers. I don't think that was us, but it could be. Doubt it. Another infantry division, nice. We have, we're doing decently a manpower. I knew we would be struggling a lot of manpower, but that extra mobilization really, really does help out. We're also trying to decrease the autonomy of uh, these guys too, and we're get, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Support weapons, nice. And we'll get down there in time. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna grab some of this. Kind of watch the world burn and whatnot. How's Asia looking? Oh, Central African Republic. Oh, that's great. Oh my God. I did not realize they were all the way over here too. Oh, Japan's in here too. That's why. Communist China's trying to hold out. Oh. Wow. Uh, oh, there is a uh, invasion of Italy in the south. The D-Day is expanding out here, which is good. Um, you guys have what? Oh, are they mobilizing more? Oh God. It's not ideal. What's the UK with all this? Commonwealth ties, 340,000. A million manpower left. There we go. Uh, a million manpower left. Alright then. Very nice. There you go. Just go ahead. Just go in. Shouldn't be too hard to beat up Uruguay, right? Uruguay. Uruguay. We just want a red roll, that's all. Hey, look at that, nice. Who's next? Bolivia, but they're already dead. Uh, we could do that, but I think it'd be better and more prudential if we did. Hey, good job, guys. Expand naval arsenal. That's looking pretty good. Social Republic of Uruguay. Oh, wait, we never went to... Oh, I guess we did never go to war Bolivia, huh? Well, I guess Bolivia will be next. Then we need to launch a revolution. At least we have finally four research slots, even though it's already 1943 or whatever. Um, gonna do that, too. Does anyone have aluminum down here? My god. And we could always import it, but I want to build up pretty much everything first. Sure, build, 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 build. Do not build in Brazil. It'd be worthless. Or the UK, really. Build it there. That'd be nice. I guess we could help the war in Europe, but I mean, what, what could we really do, in all honesty? Oh my god, they're even pushing them out of here too, look at that. The Germans are just extremely strong. My god. I might have to do some funky stuff here. Because that is not good. How much map does Spain have left? They still got a decent amount. It's not very good. But holy cow. I bet that air superiority is what's nailing everybody here. I'm still holding out here. Where did you guys come from? Is this a civil war or something? Huh. Oh wait, maybe you are supposed to be fighting that. And you guys are just maybe there, huh? Well, at least I clean this up here. That's nice. Um, sure, America. We're always out of trucks, so I'm glad they take some more. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to influence a little bit more than normal. At least they're trying pushing out. Oh my god, they pushed them all out of... It. Holy crap. That's really bad. Try the German air superiority. That's the only thing I can think of. Regardless, let's go and do that, too. Because our war score percentage is only 8%. That's not good. They've actually lost more as the allies. Holy crap. Against the Axis. 
Germany's on a tear. Japanese have not even lost a million yet. Holy cow. Yeah, I definitely have to use, have to use like consequence or something here. Because I want to at least see what the end of the war is going to be like. It's been the naval arsenal. Uh, invest in mountain guns. Armies know that though they may be very strong, their artillery is currently close and unusable in the mountainous terrain of Chile. Therefore, they put in an order for mountain guns made to be more easily usable in the mountains so that we can continue to utilize this deadly weapon. Women in aviation, despite not always being treated that way, women have always played an important role in society. And now it's time for them to step up and perform what has previously been seen as tasks only for men, such as the production and piloting of our country's airplanes. Oh! Well, that's different. License foreign designs? We don't really want to do that one. If you want to do this one, please go ahead and purchase foreign airships. What domestic design? It would be best to create and produce our own planes, models, and plane designs, as other countries cannot be deemed trustworthy of either designing or producing airplanes fit for our pilots. What in tarnation? Oh my god. Are we fighting both? No! Oh, oh, okay, they actually came up here. They actually, okay, so we're getting there. Regno del Sud. They're in the Allies, which is going to help us out quite a bit, hopefully. Um, the Germans are still on a push through the Soviets. There you go. Nice. Let's put these guys in half, which is awesome. We wish to not fall beyond our rivals in our technical department. It would be best if we started theorizing about and attempting to develop uh, to so-called wonder weapons so we don't get outclassed on the battlefield. Well, that'd be probably pretty good to do. Um, logistics. Sure. Well, that was fast. Well, all of South America except for one little state here is in the uh, Allies. American, Italian, British. What if we just went up here and was like, hey, what you doing? Or we could be bold instead and come up here. We do that. I want you all to do that. We're gonna save first because it's probably a really bad idea. And I want to make more planes with nothing. Literally just nothing. Shangxi is gone. All right. There you go. Make eleven of them there. Let's we'll keep working on their autonomy. Because once the war is over, I hope to annex them. We'll see. Paraguay, huh? Yeah, we can start one there too. It's only one thing, but whatever. What do we got here? Gives you some recon, that's true. No. We're slowly getting there. The Greeks have moved out, which is not because we're at war with them. Construction 5. You know, you think when they open up a front in the west, things would be looking a little better for the Germans? Or looking better for the Soviets? But no, Moscow's slowly going to become a frontline city. I don't understand. Oh, well, technically, you might do this. I was probably get bombed here. My god. This is why I don't like using vanilla sometimes, just because AI is just so dumb. And the Germans are actually winning down here. How? 
How did the Germans have this much manpower? Oh, they definitely are mobilizing more. You guys are running. Oh god, once the Soviets run out of manpower, hopefully they mobilize more. Wait, Italy seeks support from them? Huh. Cameroon, huh? Goodbye, Cameroon. At least Africa is looking better. They're doing okay here ish, too. Germans are just on a tear. Gigantic tear. Oh, we definitely need, need some anti air, too. What are we producing in the anti air? I don't think so. Experimental weapons development and department. It's not bad. Boris is gone. Goodbye, Boris. And women in aviation, sure. Oh, look at that. Is that going to win the war for us? God, no, but you know, we'll see. Um, in the meantime, you're all going to come down to what? All right, you know what? Fine, we'll join your pesky little war. Oh, we're not. Oh, no, just these guys that we're. We didn't go to. Interesting. Well, we'll see. Iraq joined the Axis. Well, then. Holy crap. Okay, I'll be honest. I've got to do something here to make sure that they actually don't completely, like, kill themselves. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, we've landed, and we're actually doing. Well, okay. We'll put it like that. We're doing alright. Um. Obviously, you know, I just want to see what the war ends up going to be like. I want our guys to do well, but, you know, you never know. Also, we did make another division down here, too. And I'm going to put it against these guys. We'll see how they actually do against Cayenne. So. Um, we're trying to spread out as hard and as fast as possible, but their air superiority is just very strong. And they, Germans, they got, they lost Moscow, but they lost a little bit of Turkey, too. But that just means he's going to fight against the commies. So, yeah. Uh, we're doing all right, though, which is great. <clears throat> yeah, the Germans, I don't, I don't know what's been put in their soup or whatever, or their beer, but they're just insane now. Maastricht, can you go to Köln? Germany proper? I don't know why, why can not, these guys not, like, actually do well? Why did our allies, you know, like, not actually push here? It literally makes no sense to me. For us, we're actually... Oh, we're at 6% only, huh? Not ideal, but whatever. Netherlands, huh? We're actually doing really well. And it's already 1944, so I mean, like, things should be wrapping up here, right? Hey, Luxembourg is back. So there's that. Uh... And they're really bleeding really hard here in China. Holy crap. Are you guys doing anything? Hmm. You guys are good to go. There's two divisions, unfortunately, so one of you, two. But they're not very good infantry. It's pretty average, pretty normal. Belgium's looking nice and thick, though. I guess we're just gonna walk into Germany then. Alright. I don't think I heard him that hard, but okay. Do all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Rubber's looking okay for us. Not great, but okay. Well.
We're back up 7%, and the Germans are back pushing again. Hey, we helped out. This is turning into a very disgusting mess. Oh god. Uh, go this direction, at least encircle that German division. There you go. Women in aviation. Can you actually win here? Yeah, might maybe. Maybe not. A little concerning to see that, but war planning office, yeah. Ricardo's learning. Good old Ricardo. Two divisions there. France, if you really wanted your territory, you would not do this to us. Oh, crap. Logistics too, which I forgot to throw logistics on it, guys. Since we're here, we might as well do Germany, I suppose. Um, could we do that one? Oh, we got Cayenne. Why can't I take it? We have 24. Oh, we have no score. Uh. Why do we not have. We have 5 score. It's just a white piece? What the heck is this? That literally makes no sense. Yeah, I don't like this. Campaign is it's a, it's an okay campaign. It's not great. It's kind of turned into bust. Yeah. Why do you have to wait till the Chileans show up so you can actually do something here? <laughs> They're still pushing on ahead. They haven't lost Leningrad yet. Okay. Six for reconciliation, huh? We lose it. Sub? Oh, we lost a few subs. Oh, look at that. Not ideal, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure, more excavation stuff, why not? The French are like a disease in this campaign. Yes, I get it. It's supposed to be technically French territory, but still. It's no excuse for what you're doing to us. America, do something. You're literally the strongest nation on the planet. Do something. Um, okay, France. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? I guess I might as well go in there. Uh, who is this? Is that Iraq? Who is just fighting us now? Mexican Soviet. Okay. Well, it still looks like we've done okay. Once these guys go, that's not going to be very bueno for us. Um, I would like to see though this one, uh, not this one, but uh, so we do propose closer cooperation. 
the demand that they submit to us. They probably won't, especially since we're at war. Maybe we'll do that once the war is over. Um, at this point, I think we have the, there's enough divisions. We're just going to do this. Screw it all. We're going to finish off France here. Um, finish up, finish them off in the south. It probably is the best bet. And that way we can get to Iberia as well. So that's a goal. Group anti air is better. Even better anti air would be nice. We'll do all that. Uh, we'll read that one last time. Um, a domestic aircraft industry. It's clear that we wish to keep our production efficiency as high as possible. <clears throat> uh, we must establish a large scale aircraft industry within our own borders, which makes sense. Um, and then the flying fortresses. Honestly, a nimble air force is probably where we're going to be at. It's probably cheapest to produce. Planes should be able to outmaneuver not only enemy planes, but also the watching eyes of their anti air guns and naval vessels and anti air and, and the air force. I should say, uh, should consist of smaller planes fitted to perform dogfights and strikes in an efficient enough manner, whatever becoming too heavy to maneuver quickly and decisively. So naval support, air range. Oh, this is just I like this army support. I like that. Um, I might actually go with winning the air war. Well, ground support and naval bombing can all be considered important. It's very necessary to realize what, that without control of the skies, these actions are all worth nothing. Therefore, air force shall be geared towards the control of the skies as much as possible by naval advisors. Our naval officers had a little opportunity to test their capabilities in about recently. We could therefore benefit from inviting naval officers from foreign navies to train our own officers in modern naval tactics. And here we're at everyone. It's December 25th, 1944. We've just capitulated Spain as you can see right now. Um, or we're all the way deep, balls deep into Spain, and hopefully we can just get them done. Denmark did Catalonia, Catalonia. Couldn't tell you why. I don't think there's a very strong connection there historically, but I could be very wrong about that. Um, that being said, our allies are still struggling to defeat the Germans. They've made some gains. The uh, civil war in Italy has raged on. Moscow is still under German occupation as they are still pushing towards Stalingrad. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a time. It's definitely a time. Uh, but we're doing okay. Uh, at this point, we can annex, or we're very close to, or, or close to annexing uh, Chile and Argentina. Why can't we annex them? Oh, we need more political power. We probably should save our PP. We're trying to get Paraguay underneath us too, which is fantastic. We've done very, 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 very well right there. Uh, we do a lot of mountaineers, so it might be prudent for us to attack here, or we just keep pushing in Germany. I think the German push would probably be for the best. Uh, let's focus like here-ish in the north. I think that would be, would, would be great. Save our PP. Um, really, because we have no other real reason to do it. And we could launch Rivish in, in Cayenne again, but that would do nothing for us really. Um, so these guys here, air base, Paraguay, they only have two tiles, which is not ideal for us. Um, but this should last forever, basically. Doing something like this is going to take up our slots forever. Buenos Aires is still very good, too. Do that anyways, because you can. Uh, fuel's looking pretty good. Uh, we started fo focusing a little bit more on subs. Uh, military police? Sure, why not? Getting that weekly 550 manpower just came in a handy. Ha uh, just very, very handy. Uh, where are we at now? Oh, we're actually up. Oh, they're ready to go. Pretty much. A little bit more time. We did grab a uh, land doctrine. Uh, we'll finish it off. We went with overwhelming firepower. I went with engineering traits, I think. And we're just going to go and go with. Uh, I think we went. Yeah, we went with overwhelming fire. So we're going to go static warfare, maybe? Additional, if it's preferred, static warfare. There's no such thing as too much trench work. There's almost insufficient, barely adequate. At this point, we're going to go with smoke and fire, though. I think that would fit us better. Hopefully, with us leading the charge here, we can do okay. And now we can annex Chile and Argentina, but I've got to wait until the war is over, so then we can just get all the territory fully. Can you get all stuck? I think I wanted them to go this way, but whatever. Um, yeah, the fastest way is to capitulate the Germans and then go from there, probably. So we're save our PP still. We still have almost 80% stability, which is pretty nice. Go to Lübeck. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of red. We are now at 11% war score, which is not bad. Let's put these guys into two. Very nice. They'll have to go through uh, Sweden and whatnot. <sighs> That's very disappointing that the Allies can't do anything. That's why, like I said, I, I hope I'm not too negative about this, but like, <clears throat> it's kind of a pain in the butt doing this. We, uh, that's why I don't like playing as a power, at least not a regional power, because Chile is really not a regional power, as you can probably tell. Um, 
at the very least a secondary power I'd like to play as, just because you have enough influence to change the direction of any country, war, because we, we do about the best we can, especially with the focus tree that we've got right now, which is not, it's not bad actually, um, but it's just, we don't have the strength like America does, or the UK does, or France does, or Italy even has, um, to really influence the war against a gigantic, basically, they start off not quite a superpower, but like they've turned into one, almost, so, uh, Germany's got to die soon. And then Italy's got to die. Um, we're not going to take out uh, Japan. I'm going to do some funky stuff to make sure Japan dies. I'll put it like that. So. Their anti-air is good. Because I refuse to capitulate them. And I don't want to, you know, take any more time up from what we're already doing. Because we're doing really well overall. And we've done very well as Chile. Well, nothing really interesting here. What about more advisors, though? I like that. Hey, and it's segment nice. How much manpower does Japan actually have? A million. I've got quite a bit. You guys don't have a ton. You guys, about roughly the same. How... That's so bad. America is looking all right. And we're done with our air doctrine too. In 45. It's March of 45. <sighs> Go for a configure. I remember starting out this campaign. <clears throat> hoping. Hoping. That we could capitulate stuff. Get puppets. Earn puppets. You know. The good stuff. But that's pretty much where we're at. Um, so between now and then, we might just... Oh, where's the... What is this? Um, four stricter seculars. Oh, way more political power, loose stability, more research speed. Well, I guess we can't do this one. I guess we'll do this one. We've already established secularism in both the, in the liberal constitution, but the church still has a lot of power with both people, as well as select politicians. We should therefore demand taking distance from the religion when in politics from any who wish to partake in it. A socialist youth organization. Hey, that's pretty good too. That uh, gives us more population. Obviously, we can't do this one too. So, uh, there are many in the youth who have been radicalized towards the left and right. The socialists, in particular, are quite vocal and passionate about protecting the values, and thus are willing to fight against any of them who threaten a great state. Which I didn't realize that we had this too. Uh, do anyone else we can add here? No. All right. So we're gonna deal with Japan, and then hopefully we'll keep pushing through uh, good old Germany. All right, so the war is over with Germany. You technically still war with the Soviets. Um, I'll be honest, I just gave America of Japan because I don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, we have British Italy. That's disgusting. Um, oh, anti-fascist committee. Look at that. Uh, this is how yeah, everything turned out, kind of. It's really disgusting. Um, but South America is still disgusting. We got Chilean Social Republic. Should have just puppeted these guys, but whatever. Um, actually, we're still here. We're still doing restricting, enforcing stricter secularism. Federal Republic of Venezuela. Uh, so, but we got all of Chile and Argentina, which is what we really wanted in the end. But now we're looking even bigger and thicker. Look at that. You know what? I'm going to convert you guys all to this. Oh. Right, let's do that first. Who's cut off where or what? Why? Oh, you. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Um, I was going to leave half you guys anyways, just for army's sake. And there you go. Nah. I'll we'll do it like this. There you go. Good luck. And cover yourself to normal infantry that we like to use. Um, you four should become these guys. Yes, please. And we're going to go to Leon. We did take off a good chunk of uh, here. The Free Republic of Catalonia. Island joined the common turn. Um, the Republic of America. So, yeah. Political actions. Rallies in the representative of the Dominican Republic, Federal Republic of Venezuela. So, yeah. Chile and Bolivia. Um, yeah, that's how things kind of turned out. That being said, I do want to uh, propose this one next to. Because I wonder if we can get Mexico under us. Because Mexico is, well, they're dead. I don't think they'll flip to us, but at least we'll try it. Uh, Provisional Republic, looking pretty good. Uh, we're really trying to hammer home on their independence real quick. Because there's not very much that they have here. Um, obviously, it's this group here. But we'll see. Uh, sure, Sweden. 
Kurdistan is gone. Soviet Czechoslovakia is gone. Uh, we're trying to push into here too, but we'll see. Um, also, we did take the Sahara because I figured why not. British Italy. Republic of Turkey. Soviet Iraq is gone. Soviet Romania. Yugoslavia is a giant mess, or the Balkans are a giant mess, but that's not, not new. German Republic. Well, they're completely independent. They're not part of a faction. Soviet Albania is gone. Commonwealth of Socialist Republics. Who we are fighting against. Um, sure, coming straight on. The Soviet Norway is up there. As far as you can see, it's a giant mess. What the heck? Basque country exists? France is a mess. Um... Um, I guess we'll do it like this, maybe? I'm very surprised to see that the German Republics are not in our faction. This is why I don't like the AI, truth be told. Moroccan People's Republic is gone, that's good. 30% Communist, which is fantastic. Uh, the American Revolution. We can do that again in Venezuela, the Dominican Republic. Oh! Did we? Oh, we should have just annexed Chile. Well, we are Chile. Should have annexed uh, those guys there, too. Um, so we have Cuba under us, as well as Haiti. Got tons of chromium, which is fantastic. And now, once we have lowered enough, we can annex Paraguay. There's a bucket social union. Um... Very laggy, but what do you expect? You know. Sub out when you get there. <coughs> so if they're looking pretty darn weak, but what do you expect? No. Where are we at now? We're very close. 109. Drop it down to 103. Oh, that's good. And we're not quite done with the naval adoption, but yeah. Uh, overall, I mean, this is pretty much the end of the campaign. Chile, it's fun. There's a lot of stuff you can do. I wish we could get rid of the Mapuche conflict, especially since we're communist. Uh, but we apparently can't. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff about Chile, and the DLC in general is a lot of fun stuff. But parts of it, you know, it's just still Vanilla Hawaii 4. 70 day focuses, they're not, and they're not all 70 day focuses, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> I really do not like 70 day focuses. We're to the point in time in 2024 where. You could have way more focuses that have sh way shorter time that make it more interesting and open up the gameplay to be more engaging, I I would say. Um, and I get it, sometimes you might need 70 day focuses. You might have to have them sometimes, but like, you can do a lot of 35 day focuses. I mean, the 35 day should be the standard from here on out, really. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that. But I just think that just makes more sense to me personally. Especially after being, like, just playing all the mods, like Old World Blues, even TNO sometimes has longer focuses, but still. Um, it just doesn't make too much sense for 70-day focuses. Especially without how fast the mod can run, or the game can run sometimes. Uh, and I've heard from some people that the mod, the mod, I keep calling the mod, Vanilla's slowed down a little bit since uh, this update came out, but it is what it is. Oh, why can we do that? Uh, oh, now we can. Fantastic. Look at that. Hey, more manpower. Molly exists, oh god. Um, well. I also don't need these. There you go. I guess you're next, Julian Bolivia. There you go. Work on that. Compliance, resistance. I hate that when you annex people, you can't, like, get, like, higher compliance. I mean, to me, that makes more sense. Oh, these are... So why do we have these as colony states? Is it because they're Hispanic? But that makes no sense. Spain exists too. So then why are these... Oh, it's a Soviet Spanish. Okay. Interesting. Well then. Can we go in? We generally do okay. We do have the sacrifice done for the Soviets. Oh, maybe not. That was hope. Soviet Norway's gone. We're not winning everywhere, but we're actually doing okay. The Soviet Union. Very, very weak. Um, we have no other special forces, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Special Forces Division training time. Uh, capacity multiplier 20%. Yeah, cap. Uh, shared instructors. We only have one, really. Uh, I'll go with that for 
those closer cooperation. Um, of course, we could go down here too if we really needed it, but we really don't. Uh, does anyone submit or submit to us? Revolutions, operations, blow the Panama Canal. Well, we don't really have them. Blockade, Federal Republic of Venezuela. Huh. Three capital ships in the Caribbean. Prospect for resources. Expand uh, iron ore mines in Cuba and drill for oil. Local agent recruitment. Foreign influence. This would be nice, but they don't help us lower their autonomy either. So, I guess we didn't get anything from that. Submit to the demand. I guess we have most of them under us anyways, but also include Central America. But then again, I guess Central Mex Mexico did capitulate, so... Um, I think we ended up there. That was a fun campaign. Parts of it just kind of drew, 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 drew on, drew longer, and that wasn't quite fun. But we turned Chile into a, at least a regional power, if not a superpower, basically in South America, um, just because of what we're doing all around here. So I think I'm ended there, though, my friends. Um, if you enjoyed this campaign, though, please consider leaving a fat like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of. Your day.